Hello everyone, I'm Ward Simpson and we have a great show for you today. You're going to meet Will Ford. Some of you already know Will. He's a friend of God TV. He's an intercessor. He's a prayer warrior. And he is going to minister to you powerfully today, friends. Today's program is going to change your life. I have no question about it. It's going to cause you to go deeper with God. It's going to spark something in your life and cause you to pray more and intercede more. We're going to talk about a lot of things today, including this kettle that you see right here on this set. You're probably wondering what on earth is a kettle doing on our set? Well, this is 200 years old and it was used for cooking, but it was used for so much more. Will Ford, man, it's awesome to have you on God TV again. Honored to be here again. Yeah, yes, you sir. are the man. No, you, <laughs> we man. love thank you. Thank you, Ward. I love you. Uh, no, we love you. We hold you in highest regard. Uh, thank you. And um, I know that your last uh, program you did with us was amazing, so much so that our producer said, you know, we've got to have you back on. Wow. We need you to do your own show. Wow. Uh, so we thank God for what you're doing. We salute you. We're praying for you. Thank you. And um, I want to talk, there's so much that we could talk about. You know, I've been asking the Holy Spirit just to guide this yeah. conversation. Because, you know, today we're not just having a conversation. Today's about you. Yeah. Today is about you. And um, we want God to touch you today powerfully. Even now, Father, as we begin this program, yes, I pray you would reach into that home, into that, into that living room, into that bedroom, or however they're watching, wherever they are, Lord, and just begin to minister in Jesus' name. Jesus. This is all about you, friends. Yes. It is all about you today. And I know you're wondering about this, this part. You know, Will, we began the show by making a little teaser. Yeah. This pot's 200 years old, more or less. Yeah. It's used for cooking, but it was used for so much more. Should we just start there? Yeah. So this has been in my family passed down at least six or seven generations. And the reason why it was passed down, Ward, is because it was secretly used for prayer. Wait, wait, wait. Stop there. Yes. This is your family's pot. This is my family's pot. Passed down of, from? Passed down from an unknown teenage girl to a lady named Harriet Lockett to a Noah Lockett to a William Ford Sr. So your generation. William Ford Jr., then a William III, and that's me. Wow. Yep. And so and the reason why is because it was used for cooking, but it was secretly used for prayer because on the plantation where they were owned as slaves, they would be beaten if they were heard praying because the slave master didn't want them to get any, like, any kind of hope for freedom. Right. So you literally beat them if you heard them praying. But they were Christians and they decided to pray anyway. So what they would do is they sneak into a barn late at night to make sure their prayers weren't mm -hmm. seen, but to make sure they weren't heard, they used this pot. So what they would do is they take this pot and they would invert it, they would turn it upside down, mm -hmm. then prop it up with rocks so it would be suspended off the ground about an inch or two. Mm -hmm. They would then lay flat on the ground. They would prostrate themselves in the ground and put their lips in between the opening between the ground and the kettle so that the kettle pot muffled their voices as they prayed through the night. Wow. And the story they passed down with, the, with this pot is this, is that they didn't think they would see freedom in their time, so they prayed for the freedom of their children in the next generation. So that had a profound impact on my heart. Wow. And uh, our mutual friend, Dutch, she shared this powerful message that I heard at a conference once about the synergy of the ages, or in other words, agreement in prayer and how God starts something one generation and complete it exponentially through future generations. Mm. It reminded me of this pot and it launched me literally into the ministry I'm doing today, but for the past 25 years, contending for prayer again in our nation, contending for a new generation to resource the prayer bowls. They use this pot as an acoustic means, but literally we're over all of our families. There's a prayer bowl. There's a prayer bowl over Florida. There's a prayer bowl over Texas. There's a prayer bowl over our nation. There's a prayer bowl over Israel. There's a prayer bowl over the nations of, earth, of the earth. God is looking for a new generation to resource the prayer bowls once again. So mm -hmm. back during that time period, there was this group of people, not just black Christian slaves, but also white Christian abolitionists those, those folks pray into being the first and the second great awakening. Had it not been for those revivals, slavery would have never ended in our nation. Mm. So God used them to transform hearts, which transformed laws and transformed our country. God's looking for a new generation to resource the prayer bowls once again. And I'm glad we're sitting at this table because it goes all back to the table of brotherhood. Dr. King talked about it, mm -hmm. about this table of brotherhood. And so I had a dream about the dream of Dr. King. 
And in that dream, God dealt with me about even just the, the, the racist baggage in my own heart, the unforgiveness I had in my heart. Mm -hmm. And so I shared that dream with my friend Lou Engle. He asked me to share it at the Lincoln Memorial uh, for a prayer gathering he was doing on MLK Day. Well, mm -hmm. little did I know there would be another guy who had a dream about Lou. <laughs> he mm -hmm. didn't know who he was, found out this man literally existed. Uh, so he had a dream about Lou. He had a dream about Lou. And you had a dream about Martin Luther King. I had a dream about MLK. Right. So he finds out that Lou's a real person. And he freaks out. He comes to that prayer gathering. We became friends. We've been friends for 15, 16 years. Well, fast forward. That friend of mine, he found out, his name is Matt Lockett, he found out that the Civil War ended in his family's front yard. So we thought, cool coincidence. Here I have this kettle pot where slaves prayed in Ethiopia for freedom. Mm -hmm. And this front yard from this house and your family is there in Virginia became the answer to their prayers because wow. civil, the Civil War, General Lee's last battle was in his family's front yard. So we thought, cool coincidence. But what we stumbled on more research, and we learned that it was his family who owned my family where this kettle pot came from. Oh, my God. And we met at the Lincoln Memorial. I'm not sure if they got that. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. better talk to them yeah. for a second. So listen, <laughs> this is how God works things together. Listen, there's literally my friend Matt Lockett, his family owned my family where this kettle pot came from. And wow. mind you, this happened to two guys who were led by dreams to the Lincoln Memorial, what Dr. King said in his I Have a Dream speech, I have a dream that one day the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit together at the table of brotherhood. And that's why I'm glad we're at this table. Now, I think God is calling all of us right now to the table of brotherhood. That's what wow. it's about right now. It's about meeting each other at the it's table, awesome, finding common ground, nice. but also coming together in Christ. It's time for communion. There's coming a great communion revival in yeah. the nations of the earth right now. Yeah. And we're going to see the blood of Christ and the bread of his presence be released like never before. Wow. Man, that is powerful. Well, we want to stand with you, pray with you, and and uh, I'm just, and I can't wait to see what this show has in, in store for us. Yeah, I want to talk about some new things in this show and things I've been longing to talk about, right. especially relating to the nation of Israel. All right. Well, you heard it right here on God TV. We'll have more with Will Ford right after this. Thank you for watching Today with Ward. Please join us again next time. In the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. Please email today at God.tv. Also, please consider becoming a God TV partner. For more information, visit God.tv.